Welcome back to a new video. It has been a while. I have moved. I have a new sewing space and I really wanted to share it with you. If you're a nosy kind of person and you like to see other people's creative spaces, do keep on watching. I hope this will satisfy your curiosity. If you're new here, my name is Marie and I like to sew. I like to do other creative things like knitting and screen printing and all that good stuff. And occasionally I make videos about it. So yes, without further ado, let's just get on into the tour. Welcome to my sewing space. I will try and show you as best as I can all the items that I have, the things that I use and how I arranged everything. Here's a little overview of the space. It's quite a small room, but I try to use it as efficiently as possible. So as you come in, on the left I have my desk with, of course, my sewing machine. And this is my mum's old machine. Um, it's over 30 years old, but I actually really love it. I've been using it since I started sewing. It has all the functionalities that I need. I, uh, I love it. On the right I have scissors, pens, measuring devices, like normal desk stuff. just got this chair a few days ago and I'm super happy with it. It has wheels, it's spinny so I don't have to like drag my chair every time and it's quite comfortable. I wanted a chair that was like cushiony but not too much like a couch because I needed to be able to sit upright and like sew in it and for now only good things to say about this one. So that's the desk. Under the desk you see this cheeky a uh, bag. It's a trash bag full of fabric scraps, stuff that I might one day use for like pillow making. So that's hidden under there. And then you have these little drawers. Most of them have just like normal office supplies, but some of them have my sewing items in there as well. Sewing machine feet, little screwdrivers, this is for my overlocker, uh, bobbins, some sample fabrics, and then the information booklets about my sewing machines. And if I pan over, I have this corner which hosts a lot of my sewing equipment. Um, iron, it's an old iron from my boyfriend's mom that works perfectly fine. This is my current project bin. I put the fabrics and the patterns that I will make next so I kind of have an overview. If I zoom in a little bit, yeah just sewing essentials. These are all um, little labels and here I have my sewing clips. Underneath here are more sewing machine needles. I have just a little bucket full of ribbons, all of my bias binding, some trim, more bias binding, and then in the bottom, very nicely, are all the elastics that I have. And then to the side, more drawers. The first one has some miscellaneous items that I sometimes use to finish my gifts, some overlocking thread, and some interfacing. The bottom basket full of buttons and velcro enclosure, some carton, sometimes I use it to roll my fabric around. These are leftover scrunchies that I used to sell and um, I just have a few left. So this is my little corner. You will also see my sewing puppet. And if I move her over, I have my beautiful rack of bobbins that my boyfriend made for me. Let me show you in all its glory. Isn't it just beautiful? Then we are moving on to this side of the room. I have my little plants here, which don't look super happy. Under here I have my overlocker, which I really, really enjoy. I've never had another overlocker, but I really like her. And then I have some fabric storage. 
in the famous IKEA cabinet. Here I have my knits, a little bit of waffle knit left, some smaller lightweight cotton and linen fabrics. And then in this little basket, I have all much smaller scraps that I can use for baby items or for fabric um, cotton wipes, uh, for makeup, things like that. On the bottom, I have slightly bigger woven fabrics. Some of them are old clothing things that I have recycled. Some lining in here, um, all kinds of fabric. Then we have these drawers, which are both full of um, like special fabrics. Um, this is an old tent that I recently used to make mittens out of, and I will make another bag out of it as well soon. In the back here, I have underwear, sewing supplies, like special elastics, binding. Let me try and close this. And then on the bottom, um, this is pleather. Um, swimsuit fabric. This is Oricoat, which is to make your fabrics watertight. Some lining, some silk fabric to make little bags. So yeah, special fabrics that don't really have another spot to live. So this is that fabric storage. And then I have more fabrics up here, which are my bigger fabric pieces. Let me start here. This is a wool coating fabric, some white canvas, some bed sheets, twirling fabric. Um, this is an old tablecloth that I want to turn into a jacket. Some more uh, canvassy fabrics, some lightweight jeans, linen, and then some thicker cotton fabric. So that lives there. I have this little guy, which is for future projects, things that I want to make. This is for socks, this is for tablecloth. And then on top, I have my patterns and sewing books. This looks kind of orderly, but it's actually very chaotic. Like there's no, uh, no real system to it. It's just all in envelopes. And I want to, at some point, like, organize it a bit better. On the top there, you have this transparent bin which has more uh, waffle fabric and other baby fabrics that I don't really use that much anymore. And I just store them there because I take a lot of space. Under my fabrics, I have a small stash of wool because I also like to knit every now and again. The bobbler for sweaters, just some accessories. <laughs> this is a pouch. I've been using it for years for my electronics. And then down here I have all kinds of boxes with sometimes sewing related or crafty things and sometimes just life things. So that's this cupboard. And then on the floor right now is my little blocking station for my socks that I knitted. Uh, I know it's not very professional, you don't have to comment, I know, <laughs> but um, it works for me. On the side here, I have my wardrobe, which contains my clothing. <laughs> this guy, this organizer I made recently, and I'm really happy with it because I'm able to store some stuff that I couldn't store before. Underneath, I have a uh, bin for sweaters and then pants and cozy wear, all of my backpacks, some shoes. It's just like, you know, a wardrobe. And then behind the door, is my ironing board, which I only use for sewing. I barely use it for actually ironing clothing. But yeah, that's my little room. And if I turn you around again, you have a little overview. All right, that was a tour. I hope you found it interesting. I am super grateful to be able to have this space. Not sure if this will stay like this, but for now it's really nice. Obviously, I use this room also to store my clothing and household stuff. I work from home somewhat sometimes. I dry laundry all the time in here. So it's not just a sewing space, but it feels really, really special to be able to come in here, work on a project, leave all of my shit lying around mid-project, close the door and not have to look at it. I also wanted to thank you because I got some comments and messages of people saying that they really like my videos, asking if I was going to make more. And I have to say, I didn't expect it to have such a big impact, uh, but it really, really did. It encouraged me to 
make more videos and to get back into it. Obviously, I make these videos because I enjoy it, but it's also nice to see that other people like it as well. So yeah, thank you. Don't underestimate the power of a comment, of a like. So if you want to support the channel and the things that I make, don't hesitate to comment down below and, you know, like, subscribe. You know how these things work. All right, I think I have waffled on long enough. I hope you're well. I know that the world is quite scary right now. Don't forget that every person standing up for injustice makes a huge difference. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope to see you on here very soon. And for now, happy sewing and I'll see you next time. Bye!